guys so i'm going to do a day makeup and a few tips a few tricks and some really nice products i'll put everything in the link below um any questions just comment okay so we're going to start with i've done my moisturizer i've put my eye cream on we're going to start with a primer and today i'm going to use Estee Lauder Futurist because I love it and it's silky smooth <clears throat> and really nice. So primer is designed to as a base for your foundation. It closes your pores, evens out your skin tone and just makes everything sit really nice on your skin turn into teach mode here. Sorry. Whew. So today's foundation is, this is my new foundation that I absolutely love. And we're gonna do a little bit about brushes as well today. Tools are very important when you're applying your makeup. So, Kabuki brush, number one. So your kabuki brush is great to apply your foundation because it pushes the product into your skin you get a nice smooth finish and <clears throat> it's the best thing to apply your foundation so my new um, foundation that i'm going to use today is touch by unique and it is a spray foundation and it is a game changer <clears throat> so just watch as we get older we tend to get things on our skin that we don't really like like thread veins and normally little brown patches you know like pigmentation um, can't do anything about it but we can cover them now watch how lovely is that it is really silky smooth it covers everything and it's not thick and claggy and it just goes on the skin really nicely so it's my new go-to foundation I'm just going to use a little mirror as well because I can't see very well and just co cover all of this over Get in every little nook and cranny and crease. Under the eye area. Don't forget your ears. How nice is that? I love it, I love it. Next we're gonna do our brows. Brows are very important. Everything's very important when it comes to your face, really, isn't it? Um, yes. Brush them up. And I'm going to use, this is a Lush product as well, and this is by Kiko, and it's like a little felt tip pen. And I'm just going to colour my eyebrows in. So, you can do little scratches, so it looks like little hairs, or you can have them more blocky. So remember when you're doing your eyebrows, go slightly above your hairline. that nice arch up there at the top and don't pull that tail too far down so that lifts immediately so I'm just gonna do the other one really quickly okay both are done I'm gonna brush them up just like that okay so our next brush is a fluffy brush so when you're buying your tools when you're buying your brushes the brushes have to mimic real hair. So it's animal hair, 
and the only natural animal hair that you get, sorry, the only natural fall of animal hair is goat hair. The rest of it is from the animal cruelty trade, so we don't want to go there. Um, the best brushes to buy that imitate animal hair is Cathlon. Cathlon's really good. It's been going years and years and years and it mimics sable and it mimics um, mink and all of the different animal um, hairs that we use on our makeup brushes. So goat hair, you get the natural fall, so that's fine. Now, the, the reason we use that kind of hair on brushes, makeup brushes, is because it's the way it picks the product up. I'm boring you. Well, <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. Anyway, so we're gonna um, use Cathlon brushes, or oh, I've got goat hair on this one. <clears throat> So we want a fluffy brush and we're going to do a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm going to use this um, palette by Urban Decay. And because it's day makeup, I'm just going to use this one as our transition colour. And <clears throat> we're just going to put this around the crease. So we don't want to hold our brush too close because we don't want too much pressure. So the higher up your hand, the least pressure and we're just going to colour that round. This is just a very quick process because we're using the correct brush. So in the crease, round, blend that out and the other eye. Fabulous. Oh, drop my brush. So, our next brush is going to be like a little stubbier brush, so it's not as fluffy. And this is used to pat colour in. And to do that, I'm going to use a bit of this um, one here. It's like a burnt orange colour. So, we're going to have a bit of that, I think. I'm just going to put this in the corners just to widen the eye out. And remember, this is just a day makeup. Actually, for some people, this would be a going out makeup. But I'm not going to go into all of the details of going out makeup. So that's not what we're doing. Just doing a, a quick day makeup. So in the crease, blend that out around the corners as so. Second eye. I'm seeing the second eye is if we've got a third eye. I mean your next eye. I mean your other eye. Oh, shut up. Don't you pull some weird faces when you're putting your makeup on? I do. So make them obviously even. So next we want a little brush for underneath the eye area. I'm going to use a little brush like this, it's like a got a little point on and I'm going to go in with that first colour because we don't want it too dark under the eye and we're just going to take that from the corner and not right away across. From the corner and not right away across. So we just want our eyes to open up a bit. That looks quite equal and even. Next is lashes. Now, a lot of people, when they're doing the lashes, they just put the mascara on. You need to take some time when you're doing your lashes because we're framing our eyes. So, I'm going to use um, Epic 4D, Moonstruck Epic 4D by Unique. Look at the colour of that. It's lovely. And this is 4D. It, you can layer this mascara and it doesn't get clumpy. But watch how lush it is. So, take your time when you're doing your lashes. 
and when you've got one eye done do the other eye and then come back to your first eye and a lot of people make the mistake of missing out these corner bits we need all of these little hairs on the corner layered with mascara Pull your face whatever it takes make sure we get all them bottom lashes done as well because people tend to just miss them out well not miss them out but don't spend as much time as you do with the top lashes I mean Back here and don't pump because we don't want to fill it full of air. The mascara dries out really easily if you do that. Back to the first one. Lashings is nice mascara to frame those eyes. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. So now we're going to do a bit of contour. I'm going to use another Urban Decay palette. I'm going to use this one here. Right, when we're doing our contour, we want a, a bigger, chunkier brush, fluffier. Because as we're getting older, we don't want to put this under the cheekbone because we don't want to start to look gaunt. We need to lift our face. So we'll go on the cheekbone and just above. So on and just above, and we're going to do the number three. See, immediately that's lifted. So on the cheekbone and just above. So, right, next product is highlighter. So we need a bit of a fluffier brush. This product is my favorite product in the whole world. Now I've been doing makeup and teaching makeup for a long time. And out of all of the highlighters I've ever used, this is the best. It's by Unique and this is the golden one but it comes in about four different shades and the silvery one you can use on your eyes, you can use it on your cheeks, you can just, it's beautiful. I could eat it. Watch. So you need a flat, fluffy brush and it's just gonna go above your, high, uh, your contour. And this is designed just to pop when you're moving your cheek like that. Mm -hmm. And this side, and we don't need loads. Tip of your nose, top of your, this. Cupid's bow, <laughs> forgot. Simple. Next is our blusher. I'm gonna use an angled brush for this. And I'm just going to use an NYX blusher and it's just a nice pinky colour. Now your apples, they move when we stop smiling and they move down because we're getting older. So we need to do just above the apple and in between your highlighter and your contour. And look at that. That just gives us a glow, makes us look peachy, makes us look healthy and finishes our makeup off perfectly. Um, lips. Now lips are important um, because your lip has got to stay on all day and it's got to look nice and I like um, shimmery lipstick. I'm not a MAC person 
and it tends to just fall off all the time. So lip liner, simple, try and get a colour that's close to your own lip colour. Don't go too wide here. And if you haven't got any lips, play and leave. So go just below your lip line. And when you're doing your top lip, come from the bottom up and round because you get a nice arch shape. If you go from the top down, you tend to drag it down and you get an, a, a straight shape. Your lips are not straight. So around. Again, not too wide in the corner. And colour in. And this gives your base for your lipstick. And this stays on longer. And helps your product stay on longer. So immediately I look like I've got lips. <laughs> so I'm going to use this one. This is Eve Saint Laurent. Ta -da. And that's it. That's my makeup. That's my day makeup. So I hope you got a few little tricks and little tips. Um, I'll tell you what's really good, really nice product. If you want your eyes to look a little bit bigger, you can use this. And this is by um, Charlotte Tilbury. And it's like a beige, creamy eyeliner. So if you put that on inside, it will make your eye look bigger. So that goes on your waterline, if you can see. And it's lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna go and sort this out and um, I'll come back. Okay, so hair sorted, day makeup done. Voila. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Any questions, put in the comments and um, I'll answer them as best I can. Thanks, see you soon, bye.